The following is a sports presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside Suzanne Strudwick of the women's golf team, I'm Danielle Whaley, and this is the Eagle Sports Network. The first tournament of the season is this weekend, the King Invitational. Last season, the team won that, um, and a lot of impressive individual performances. How big is that, having that experience from last year? Yeah, it's huge, and I think the girls are going in with some confidence. So it's our first event of the, of the new year, um, being defending that title on King's home ground you know there's obviously going to be some um, you know some rivalry and some you know King are going to want to get revenge so it's kind of interesting um, the event has has really increased its its participation because of the hurricanes a lot of the teams that were playing the last two weeks that have had those events cancel are now scrambling to get into events and king normally this event normally only has six seven teams play now they're full um, so it's it's actually going to be a very well participated event and that bodes well for our ranking so if we play well will get very good ranking points, which is huge. Sure, and like you said, ranking is a huge thing, especially mm -hmm. this early on in the season. Yeah. And looking back from last season, six players were able to travel, um, and five of them are returning to the team this year. So what is that like um, from a coaching standpoint, having that experience back yeah. with this tournament up ahead? Well, I, you know, I said to the girls, we're actually able to take one more individual, so we're going to have two individuals, so the five team and then two individuals. That allows me to put in... Um, one of the freshmen, um, you know, just to give get her feet in the water, I'm going to be like throwing them in in the deep end, so to speak, which is great. Um, that really worked well with Rachel Watts last, last year. And so I kind of want that trend. So one of the individual spots is up for grabs in our qualifying. And we're actually, because we had such a, um, this several weeks, from when they came into school till now, we're actually doing a 54-hole qualifier. So we actually have our last round this weekend. So the top three um, from last year are exempt. So Elizabeth is still number one, Taylor Hayes, and then uh, Reagan, I mean Reagan Kinney. So they're exempt, they're in the team. So the other two spots are up for grabs and one more individual. Um, but then one individual I'll make that decision um, and they'll travel so that's captain's pick. Ab pick. Yeah. Absolutely and looking back at last season's outing the first day was huge for Reagan and Elizabeth like you had said yeah. how important is that heading back into the season with them already pretty much having their spots solidified how do you look for them to continue to grow from how they showed up last season? Yeah I think that both of them have had a very successful summer um, of competition and that's very important um, to keep grinding, keep working, keep trying to improve. And they've showed me, uh, you know, in the last couple of weeks of practice and in play, they're actually shooting the lowest scores in qualifiers. Um, the girls that perhaps need, you know, they're the returning that, you know, needed a little bit of a kickstart. Um, their scores are not quite as, as low as I would hoped, but hopefully we'll, we'll get into it. So, yeah, the cream's going to rise to the crop, whatever, so. Right, and I mean, the, it's, it's definitely risen in these first two weeks of practice. Mm -hmm. you, that was one thing you spoke about last time, was making sure, yes, it is a late start, but getting that solid two weeks of practice in. Yeah. What have you seen from the team so far in that practice? Yeah, it's been good. I mean, obviously for the freshmen, it's difficult because they're not used to these courses. So, you know, they're, in our practices, we're trying to allow them enough time to, to play them ready for the qualifiers so some of them don't get the you know the same experience level of playing those courses we we play both patriot hills and at Seville. um so you know there's a little there's probably a couple of shots there that go astray that just because they don't know the courses so later down the season that obviously will improve um and so you know for me it's just for me to get to see where the girls are at you know, coming off that long summer break, you know, as a coach, you just want to know where are your players, who's performing well, who's put the work in over the summer, um, who or who's having, you know, kind of a slow start but might get it going in practice later in the season. Sure, it's going to be a quick start to the season, you know, mm -hmm. having this tournament and then three in October. Correct. How important is it to have a really solid start to the season at yeah. the King Innovate? 
King Invitational, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, it's huge for us because then we have next weekend, the following weekend off so we can address any issues that come up. But then we're, boom, we're right off and running again. So, um, and it, you know, we're, for me, it's something that it, once we get into it, these sort of two to three weeks that we've had of practice sets up our fall. So there isn't much time because of the back-to-back -back element of these tournaments to really get the girls maybe changing anything or improving anything. It's like the work has been done. It's almost like a preseason. Now we've just got to go. Um, so the team will actually be fairly solidified after this weekend and after the King event. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us and good luck this weekend. Thank you so much. She's Suzanne Strudwick. I'm Danielle Whaley and this is the Eagle Sports Network.